Hello everybody, welcome back to Johnny Looks At, where we drink delicious coffee and we talk about a new game. Today we're taking a look at Far Lone Sales. Now this game, let me pick up my gamepad here. This game plays essentially like a side-scroller, you can see our little dude there. But, we command our vessel, which is essentially like a steam-powered vessel with the aid of a, a huge sail here on top. And you kind of operate the uh, the vessel via all of these contraptions that are highlighted for you here. So, you will also see... See if I can get my cursor to be displayed. Nope, it's not the case. Well, you can see over here... Let me move my character. The different meters. This is essentially the health of your different... Um, y y your different parts. So, you have the engine over here. And, of course, you have the icon to signify those different elements you got the engine you've got your burner over here so you can see right now if i do this i'm pumping some more fuel into our energy meter over there this is another component that allows you to essentially pick up stuff that's on the ground and i've prepared a scenario here to to dem demonstrate what I mean by that, you can see this little box, that's essentially fuel that we can pick up. So, if we go ahead and start our engine for a little bit, hopefully we'll be able to pick that up as we go. Yeah, nice. And we're on the move, so let's kind of give a little bit of throttle in here. Let's see if we can pick up those as well. We're gonna release some steam. I don't know if we'll be able to pick up all of those boxes. Yeah, we were, actually. And because our... <laughs> our sucking contraption, I don't know how to call it, man. That sounds, you know, awfully obscene. But our contraption there is now full with stuff, which we're gonna unpack. And all of this is essentially fuel. I don't think any of it is... There's a chair. I suppose we can use it as fuel. Probably not very efficient. Somehow it translates into like a full tank of gas. <laughs> We're not gonna question the, the physics of that. And then up here, you have, in case of, uh, you know, fire. And also this thing, the blowtorch, that allows you to fix stuff. So, for example, you can see the engine is a little bit... Uh in a, a little bit of a bad state, and it's now back up to full working order. And over here, you could bring back your sails, or bring down your sails. All of these components you will add onto your ship throughout the journey. Of course, I've already played quite a bit, and I'm showing you what it is in its advanced stage. Or somewhat advanced. I don't. I don't really know how far into it I am. Probably one or two hours. I think a couple hours already. It's been really fun, and I wanted to show you guys because I think this might be actually really enjoyable for a lot of you. This game has amazing music. Don't take my word for it. Go online and look for the soundtrack. I think you'll agree with me that it does have some amazing tracks. Let me just turn on our sucking contraption there pop some more fuel in this bad boy and throughout your journey you will roll or encounter these structures which you can interact with and I, got, I gotta say some of them are really cool gives you kind of a sense of scale where you can see kind of how small you are compared to some of these structures, which is, again, very cool. Let's see if we can get on top. Yeah, okay. So we got some fuel over here. Looks like we can send it down using that ramp. What else do we got going on here? So part of the fun is just being immersed into this kind of lonely world that the devs created for us with some amazing music, as I said, and then kind of exploring these different contraptions, these different structures, and seeing how they interact with your ship. Now, we don't want to... I don't know what's going on with this. 
What are we doing with this? Ooh, look at that. Now we probably... ...want to go back to our ship if possible. I'm not super happy with this, if it's not abundantly clear. <laughs> I wanna go back to my ship. Stop. I don't want my, uh, my ship to go all the way back. Hold on. How do you open this? <laughs> no! Disaster. Okay. Let's spin it a little bit. I think you can maybe exit through the other side like this. Alright, so we gotta turn the gears there. Until that's on the stairs. Like so. Alright. Here we go, let's go back down. I don't know where. Our ship is gonna be at this point. No fall damage. You just kind of glide through the air gracefully. Let's enjoy some of the sound effects for a moment. Run, 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 run. You fool. Get out of here. Get me out of here. Here we go. Pop our sails. That was quite loud. <laughs> that was quite loud. Release steam. The way I see it, releasing steam actually gives you a little bit of a boost in terms of speed. And also, if you don't do it, there's a fire. So, double benefit for keeping an eye on that. But you do want it to build up a little bit because, as I said, it gives you a little bit of a boost. I'm enjoying it so far. Hopefully this gives you a decent idea of what you're in for if you do pick up the game. It's kind of a really laid-back, relaxing experience. I don't know how long the game is, but I have heard that it's not very long. That's fine, that was under control. Ooh! Looks like uh, we got a little box dropping over here. When did that happen? Oh, was that from, from the ramp from before? Yeah, I think so. Here we go. Okay, we, we can drop it here. No, don't. I don't want to use the hose, my dude, okay? What do we have going on here? Usually, when you get stopped like this, you can interact with the environment and do something cool. Go onto the sail. And, yeah, like this. You can zoom in, zoom out. All under your control. That's pretty cool. Alright. So, oh, we can't go back? Mm, okay. I mean, I would like to use this to... Okay, never mind. Keep going to where this takes us. Oh, we're tipping the weight of the thing. Are we gonna die hard in here? Nope. Okay. Did that do the trick? Let's see. Let's get back. In here. Give it a bit of gas. Let's see if we can power through this. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. So we we gotta stop. Some of our is that a fire? 
think it's a fire. Grab the hose. Go. Oops. Down here. All right. Make sure that's taken care of. You're gonna use the blowtorch to repair some of this stuff. You gotta keep an eye on the condition of your components. And that's kind of the jam. I mean, really, I think this gives you a pretty good idea of... ...of the gameplay elements involved and, like, the gameplay loop and stuff. Let's just repair our sails. We're gonna set sail again. Like that. Isn't that awesome? I'm pretty charmed, I'll admit, by the the presentation. I think the graphical presentation is very high value, and so is, um, like, like I said, the music. And I think the gameplay is engaging enough and deep enough that it will keep you. Oops! Looks like we didn't didn't actually power the engine there. Oh, there we go. I think the gameplay is deep enough that it will keep you engaged for. I'd say quite a few hours, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm into it. It might not float your boat. No pun intended. Although there's no floating in here, but it still works. But um, you know, if it if it does kind of scratch scratch that itch for you, I think it can be a very cool experience. It's only about ten bucks, maybe twelve bucks in Steam. British bucks, that is. Probably $15, I think, for American folks. Oh, see if we can get in here. A little bit more juice into our engine. Ooh, are we stuck? I think we might be stuck. So, what we can do here is actually... use this and this is the first time i'm doing it but uh everything here is kind of very intuitive they don't really have any tutorials at least no like in your face tutorials which i kind of appreciate so all of this stuff is just kind of you pick up as you play in a very natural way and uh forgot to drink my coffee here I gotta say i'm enjoying it man It is kind of up my alley. This is not a game I'd play every day. But there are some days where this is the game I'd really want to play. If that makes sense. Alright, I think this is good. We should be out of the woods here. I don't want to fall back into it, so... Let's see if we can quite quickly power through and out of this situation. Hopefully grabbing those fuel components in the in the meantime. Oh, looks like we didn't actually. So here's the thing, you can stop. Looks like uh, our our sucking contraption, <laughs> how we're we're calling it, is actually stuck with too many things in there. Oh, turns out you should you shouldn't put a highly flammable barrel into your into your engine that's fine though you can always repair it i haven't yet found uh, something that you can't repair your way out of in this case actually we just had to put out the fire which makes more sense honestly can we just like not move for a bit thank you so it looks like what we need to repair is actually the um, oh, this part, yes. You can see the meter go up there in the right. And there, done. So, you would kind of clear the way here. So it looks like we, we picked a lot of stuff. And once it's cleared, you can actually go down and manually pick up the stuff that you missed. I don't think you can go backwards, the way would be kind of just releasing the brakes and letting its own weight pull you back. Well, yeah, we're not gonna pick the flammable thing there. I think we're gonna be okay without that. Alright, let's let's roll here and I think this 
we'll pretty much wrap the video here. Hopefully this gives you an idea, again, what you're in for if you do pick this up. I think it's a, a very enjoyable experience if you like these kind of subdued, timid experience. Um, you know, it's like an, a post-apocalyptic world where you're pretty much on your own. And that might not jibe with everybody, but I think there's a there's a, a big market for this and I think a lot of people will enjoy it. Anyway, with that said, if you think it's up your alley, consider checking it up on Steam. I did pick it up today and I was happy to spend my 10 bucks on it. So with that said, th those are just my two cents and I hope you enjoyed the video regardless. Let me know down below if you did. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.